Hey super women, welcome back to Tasha Loves Life. I want to share with you my confidence journal today. I've been using this journal um, since the start of the new year actually. I created it myself and journaling has really been a source of like therapy and just peace for me. Um, being able to write down my thoughts and my ideas and you know my prayers and different scriptures. All the things that help build my confidence so this is available on amazon i'm just going to share some of what i've already been journaling and how i'm using it just as a way to continue providing this small community hope and joy and a little bit of peace through planning through just journaling so the the front cover it just says my confidence journal and then it has my name since i'm the author um, there's no, like, this book belongs to page, but I just wrote my name and P.O. Box at the top. It has a 2023 and 2024 calendar. I did create this in 2023. Um, but, you know, at least you can see the year before and the year that we're currently in. And then there's a set of affirmations. I am affirmations are motivating to me. And I like to even have my children say their I am affirmations in the mirror every morning when they look at themselves after they've prayed and you know we we've had time to pray together this this is just that extra step to get you ready for the day so I already typed in I am empowered to prosper I am in control of my emotions I am a confident and creative being I am filled with wisdom to make sound decisions I am loved and command love to surround me and then there are three blank spaces where you can write your own I am affirmation my first two are I am strong and courageous and then I am a good steward over my children this is important to me I still have one more space to fill in and whenever that affirmation comes to me I'll fill it in but that's how the book starts and then there are pages blank line pages okay just like a little notebook Quotes that promote confidence and strength, you can use this to write in those quotes. Whether it's something you heard from a sermon, it's someone famous you heard from, or a scripture from the Bible, something that um, promotes confidence in you, right? And this is for January. So we have the first two pages for January, quotes that promote confidence, and I am valuable because, and then you have to write out why you believe and you feel that you are valuable. What makes you valuable? What adds to your value? And not monetary, of course, but spiritually, um, emotionally, um, educationally. What adds value to your life? What causes you? What makes you valuable? And I, I wrote a few things here, like of some words, healthy, prosperous, whole, beautiful. And, you know, some things that help keep me going. I like to use scripture first, and then I use a few different quotes from people that I admire, such as Lauren Hill. Lauren Hill has um, a song where in one of these songs, her line is, because I treat you kindly doesn't mean that I'm weak. If you hear me, you hear me speak and think I won't take it to the streets, which means she's serious about who she is. She's dignified. She's proper. She's calm, whatever you want to call her. But she's not one who's a pushover. That's how I see it. And I've always loved that quote since I first heard it. And then for January, there's a self-care is important page. And here it just says, write all of the ways you will care for yourself. I added some stickers and then I added some things that would help me care for myself better. Um, mostly mine is physical because I just had a baby. So I'm trying to get back into, you know, get snatched a little bit, <laughs> um, you know, while healing and just taking care of my physical person is a part of my self-care. So I wrote some things down related to that. And then the next uh, one, two, three pages are blank. There's no prompting at the top is just blank for you to write whatever comes to your mind if you wake up in the morning and you have your cup of coffee or cup of tea and you want to sit down and do your devotion or just write out whatever is happening you want to brain dump some things you want to brainstorm some things you want to 
uh, rehearse something that you want to talk to someone about in your life, whatever it is, you write it out here. And I have been using this significantly for the last, you know, all of January and I even started February. So I like to even make lists. Lists are like really, really helpful to me. So I started to write down things that I'm thankful for. And I have seven lines here, but you could do more. You could do less. Maybe there's just one thing. But I started writing down those things I want to be thankful for. So when I come back to look at this, I can see where I was and I can remind myself why I felt grateful and why I should continue to feel grateful um, as things progress in my life and things change and things get better. Um, I like I use a lot of scripture. So like I use Psalm 26 as a reminder um, that God has vindicated me. I write some prayers here. I have Ephesians 6, the armor of God. I wrote that out because I wanted to really get that back in my mind so I can keep my focus on something because when life gets a little hard it's nice to look back and see that there's something there to ground you into you know as your foundation like okay I know I'm going through something kind of challenging it's difficult it's it, it might hurt a little bit but there's a reason why um, we go through these battles and we we can come out on the other side like when you go into one you don't have to stay there you can come out so Anyway, just little things to encourage myself is what I use this page for. And then after the end of or the beginning of each new month, there's a quote on the page. The first one um, after January is turn your wounds into wisdom. And this was a quote by Oprah, Oprah, <laughs> Oprah Winfrey. And and then the, the pages repeat itself. Quotes that promote confidence. And this is for February. So you'll see the date. Or the month at the top and then I write I've been writing some of quotes that I want um, I am valuable because self-care is important and then you have blank pages to write whatever you need to and then it starts again with a new quote I am a woman phenomenally phenomenal woman that's me and that's a quote by my, from Maya Angelou and then Again, it repeats itself. Every single time you start a new month, there is a new quote from someone substantial or a famous person or a Bible scripture. And then you can journal however you want. I really am enjoying this. It's been so helpful to me. It's been so therapeutic. And even right now, as I'm reviewing what I've written in January, I already want to go back and review it again. And it's giving me... The confidence that I need to move forward and not to fall into a slump. Sometimes I think, and not to make this sound light of people who are really suffering through depression, but it's I think it's easy to get there if we don't have some sort of outlet to help us process the things that we're going through in our lives, process our thoughts, um, get understanding about things that are important to us. For me, the word of God is important. And I use that as, you know, to help me through when things are a little bit difficult. So this, this can really help, I, th I believe, if you use it. If you just get up and five to 10 minutes before your children get up or before you have to start your job or your, your business or you have a meeting, just sit down and start to write out the things that are helping you with your confidence, reminding you of why you're valuable, reminding you that self-care is important. What things can you do to provide self-care? Lunch dates with girlfriends. I would love that to spend more time with my girlfriends, spend more time with my husband, um, and a lot of the time spend more time by myself so that I can just recoup and reset and refill my cup. So that's, that's what it looks like. I just wanted to share that with you. This is the back of it. It just tells a little bit about me and why I created this. And I'm hoping to create a safe space for women who um, just feel like there's no other place where they can truly be themselves. And your confidence journal is yours alone. And again, there's no dates on here except for the calendars in the beginning, um, on the beginning page. But it's from January all the way through December. And then there's several blank pages at the back. So you can use this for whatever you need to, even if you, you know, write out your little budget like I did in the back here, apparently. But 
that's the confidence journal and i just wanted to share that with you i hope that somebody found it valuable remember that you are beautiful and you are loved i will link this down below if you're interested in purchasing and remember to like comment and subscribe and i'll talk to you in the next one bye for now